Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today at the Poonlaw Coffee Table for a Coffee Table Preview. This preview is for an upcoming series I've titled Infer or Inferred. Now, some of you know me, but in case you don't, I, I have a PhD in chemical engineering. I did research for NASA when I was in graduate school. I'm a scientist. I'm an engineer. I use logical deductive reasoning as part of my profession. We infer things from other things. That's what we do. But what we are really doing is making an educated guess. Believe it or not, it does work sometimes. And depending on how much information you have and what you're basing your guess on, you can get pretty close. But let's just understand, it's still guess. In mathematics... We do what we call simulations. This is another fancy word for guess. Or you're having the computer do the guessing for you. Question, does it work? Well, sometimes it does. The better the model, uh, the better the simulation is going to be, and the closer its guesses are going to be to what actually happens. Sometimes you're going to guess right, and sometimes you're not going to guess right. But I guess you just need to understand that there is no human model that can predict everything 100%. We make errors. We're human. And in fact, we make a lot of them. You only need to look at the weather forecast if you want to see what models and guessing really looks like. You know, sometimes they're sort of right. Sometimes they're not right at all. Uh, when you look in a hurricane season, you can see the models of where the hurricane's going to land. Some are way off and some are close, but the same one doesn't usually predict the next storm. So I think we need to understand that modeling and science and all these things, we use deductive reasoning to try to predict things. But it doesn't always work. Just look at the weather forecast. But believe it or not, many Christian doctrines use this same flawed, secular approach to interpret the Bible. In our uh, zeal to understand, we forget that God promised us wisdom if we just ask. And the Holy Spirit is within us to help guide our process and our understanding. I'm not saying that we should not use our God-given intelligence, our reasoning skills, in our process of understanding the Bible. But what I am saying is we shouldn't take it too far. We shouldn't look for hidden codes and deeper meanings. We need to remember that every word, every page of the Bible was written to real people who did not necessarily have a lot of education. It's intended to be understood by both the king and the slave. So, when we start feeling that our intellect somehow gives us special privileges or a special insight into the Bible, we need to really stop. You know, who do we think we are when we start thinking that way? God loves every single person equally. So why could we possibly believe that his truth would only be decipherable by the few? Uh, all I can say is shame on us. For thinking this way. In this series, I'm going to look at some of the secular scientific things we do where we make huge inferences to come up to our conclusions. And then I'm going to look at Christian doctrines that have done very similar things. These seismic leaps of faith that both science and religion use sometimes are based on observable evidence and sometimes they're not. So I hope you'll join me for this series, Inferred. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for giving us the Comforter, the Holy Spirit to guide us. And we don't need to guess because he's with us. Help us to understand when we are using human reasoning instead of your reason. And help us to look at our beliefs and make sure they're based on your thoughts instead of thoughts of man. And I ask this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. So, 
trust God in everything you do, and He's going to give you peace. And I think that has to be the motto when we are studying the Bible as well. So thank you for joining me today at the Punlo Coffee Table, and I hope you will join me again for our series, The Inferred. God bless.